Dear students, welcome to Mayura Virtual Academy. In this session, uh, we'll execute simple application and uh, how the simple adapters are used for the various uh, purposes. So, if our requirement is like we need to show some images with the text in the list view, uh, instead of uh, we won't be able to use array adapters. So, we'll be using simple adapter for this. So, let us execute uh, one simple application where uh, we, we will display list view with image and the text view. So now uh, let us come back to Android Studio. So here is a simple application which has a main activity and its corresponding XML. So first let us uh, design the layout. So I will include one list view in this. The width as uh, match parent, height as match parent. So we can give, sorry. We can give ideas, uh, can give ID so that we can initialize in the uncreate uh, method of an activity. So let the ID be list view. So we will define some margin layout margins so that there won't be any overlapping layout margin at the dimension of margin. So you can go to values dimensions.xml be able to see the margin okay so if you want we can even define the background color to white android background at color background so you can go to colors.xml background to white okay as you are aware that uh, the list view will be in need of uh, one particular view which will be repeated many number of times so let us define one layout called the view holder under the layout. It is a linear layout and uh, with the horizontal fashion will be having image and text view. We will fix the height of this layout to the 50 dp and uh, we will divide uh, this entire two views image view and text view so that uh, using the layout weight property and since the layout weight property to the both the things is one it will be occupying uh, equal space say the image view will be occupying 50% and text view will be occupying 50% so now, now let us come back to main activity here we will declare uh, the variables for uh, list view private list view so this will be m simple adapter list view and the simple adapter list view will be taking array list of hashmap so the data it uh, takes is array list of hashmap so let us uh, declare that variable private array list of hashmap and hashmap will be holding the data using the key value pairs in our case uh, since the two data one, is, one will be the string and other is the image let the key be string and the value be object since uh, the data types of uh, two things are different we are uh, storing for one particular thing we are storing the image and for one more thing we need we need text so that is the reason we'll be using the value as object so that uh, uh, we can use whatever the data that we need let uh, this particular name be m array list So now it is the time for us to initialize and create a method of an activity. So yums simple adapter list view. We will type cast it to list view. Find view by id r dot id dot. Here we have given the id as list view. So we will declare, uh, we will create one method, private method to lo load the data to the array list. Private void load data. Here we will initialize array list uh, variable that we have declared. M array list is equal to new array list. Since this array list uh, will take 
hash map of key value pairs let us uh, initialize hash map of uh, with the key value pairs hash map of string and the object will be a data is equal to new hash map of string with key value pairs here the string will be key so the key should be constant so let us declare two keys over here private static final string one will be the name and other will be the image other key will be for the image private static final string image okay so here data dot put string will be the name the value will be the string so let us go to strings.xml here so we will delete these things okay so we'll use these three things home about and contact us okay will be mine activity dot this dot get resources get string the string id r dot string dot home Similarly, we need to have three images. So we have included three images: home, about, and contact. Home, about, and contact. Let us include that into this hash map data dot put. Key will be the image, and value will be or dot drawable dot home. So once uh, we have initialized the hash map. Variable we can add that into array list. M array list that add so data. Similarly, this we can copy one two. So here we will change the name of hash map data one. Data one that put name will be r dot about image will be r dot drawable dot about similarly for the other thing data two data two dot put name will be contact and image will be contact we can include that into array list so once uh, we are done with this we can call this method in uncreate method of an activity so now let us uh, initialize the simple adapter simple adapter adapter is equal to new simple adapter this takes the parameter first parameter as a context that is this second one is a list of data in our case it is mra list third one is the layout and which uh, this data should be loaded r dot uh, layout dot view holder fourth parameter is the string new string these are the keys that is present in hash map so here it is uh, name image the fourth parameter is ids where this value should be loaded or into the uh, respective view so here it is int new int so we can go to the view holder here we have defined the ids image holder and name holder so the first parameter is name so then uh, the values that is corresponding to that particular name key should be loaded into r dot id dot name holder 
similarly the values that is present in the image key should be loaded into this particular view that is r dot id dot image holder so once uh, we are done with initialization of simple adapter let us set this adapter to the list view so yum simple adapter list view let's set adapter with the adapter so in order to listen for the user interaction with the list view we will be setting this uh, list view sorry to the event listener set on item click listener it takes a parameter as a context so since it is abstracting we need to and implement the methods it has so this is called an item click listener so whenever the user clicks let us display the user with a simple message using the toast it takes the first parameter as a context second is the uh, the message that we need to display say user clicked the item with the position So we are concatenating the string here and then we will display the user for some long times with the duration use the show. So this is how uh, uh, we use the simple adapter to display the views which contains image and the text. So let us compile this application and uh, we will have a look at its output. Run. Okay. So here is the output. So we have image with the text. We have image with the text. We have image with the text. Whenever the user clicks on any particular item, the user will be displayed with a short message. So here, user clicked with an item with the position zero. For about it is one. For contact us it is two. So you can include uh, any number of data that you require over here. In this method uh, we have included only three home about us and contact so you can include any number of data so in this session we have learned uh, uh, how to display uh, the items which has both image and the text using the simple adapter concept so simple adapter uh, takes uh, these are the parameters one first parameter is the context second is the list of data that needs to be loaded and third parameter is the layout which needs to be repeated and fourth is the key values of hashmap and the last one is the ids from this layout and how it does is it takes the values from this particular key that is the key that we have mentioned here and it will be mapped into the respective ids of the views once we have initialized the simple adapter we will be setting that adapter to the list view and we'll be using the event listener called set on item click listener to listen to the events uh, that uh, the user performs on that uh, any particular items that is present in the list view. So that's it for today. Thank you. Have a great day.